Hello Leo! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using The Bonefire Tarot by Gabby Angus West. It's a 2016 deck, shifferbooks.com. Um, what else can I say about it? It's all right there. Okay, good. Supportive Oracle Cards. Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra Ann Taylor, which her name's at the bottom here. It's a 2013 deck from Hay House, which is over here. Hay House is H-A-Y-H-O-U-S-E dot com. I know the business is still going. I'm pretty confident with that. Whether that's the same website anymore, I don't know. But if you look up Sandra Ann Taylor, I think she has a lot of things going on, actually. But, you know, you decide if you like what you see from her and you want to see more, search her out. You know what I'm saying? Good deal. The energy's like, it seems to be popping off a little bit. Is that good or bad? I don't know. So, there's this card. Magician in the Mirror. It makes me feel like it's kind of like, before we go too far down the road, let's angle this to where you want to be, not about what you're dealing with. You know what I mean? If I want to be over there, Let's not go deal with things over here just because they're aggravating. Let's go. Let's keep going that way. Like if that's where we want to be, up over on that hill, don't go over here and deal with this just because it's getting on your nerves or it's trying to get your attention. Let's not deal with stuff that doesn't get us where we want to be. Just because you know, just because people know how to push our buttons doesn't mean we're going to let them push them. You know what I mean? They may think they know how to push the button, but maybe we'll just turn that button off so it doesn't matter how many times they push it. Because I'm getting like something is trying to avert you a little bit. Somebody's trying to take you off path. And I'm getting success is possible. Because you got the six of wands. You have this. It's a possibility though. Just, I keep getting this. Like you want to be over there and they're trying to get you to come over here and do, like they're trying to pull your attention. Somebody's trying to pull your attention. And I'm getting this Ace of Wands here with the High Priestess. Now this is the Challenge card, which very much makes me feel... This is somebody who thinks they know best. We're all here to live our own lives, though, you know? So you've got to make your own decisions. They're not, they're not here to make decisions for you and for your life. But I feel like somebody thinks that they know best for you... So they're trying to be like, oh no, Leo, you're not going to be happy up over on that hill. No, you're not going to be happy. Come over here. They're not wanting to come over here. All right, I'll cause a diversion and I'll distract them. And I'll try to just, uh, they'll get far enough down the road and they'll forget. It'll be fine. I feel like they're trying to do one of those things. They think they know best. This is, your life is not for them to lead. You know, it's not. Um... I don't feel like you need to know that. I feel like they need to know that. Because I feel like you'd be like, well, I know that. <laughs> Especially the Leo energy. Like, well, yeah, I know. My life is for me to lead. Maybe there needs to be a conversation with this person and we need to call that out for what it is. I mean, I don't know. Because I know that that's not going to be a pretty conversation. That's not going to be a pretty conversation. Nope. There's just... I just don't feel like, because they feel like they're going to kind of say something that's going to tweak, tweak you just a little bit the wrong way, and you're going to be like, listen, I'm sorry if you think this is a negotiation. It's not. Don't try to lead my life for me, because I'm saying this is going to end up in an argument. But I'm also getting, this is what actually improves things with this person, because I don't think this is a bad person. Subjective. I know it's a general reading. I gave you that. But... It's kind of like, let's argue it out today so we don't have to deal with it tomorrow. It kind of feels like that. Things will improve with this person. I feel like we need to have this conversation and we need to put this we, have, we need to put this in focus. Kind of like, listen, you need to get, get on point with this. Do not try to make decisions for me. Don't think you ever have that ab ability to do that for me. No. If you want to give me information, you may give me information. And I'll tell you if I want it. But you don't make decisions for me. You can supply information, you cannot make decisions. Not for me, no. Um, and I feel like they have people around them that maybe people do gravitate around them who want that. 
there are there's certain people want that. They want somebody else to make the decision for them for whatever reason. That we don't even need to go down that road. That's that is not you. That that's and maybe you need to tell them that. Hey, you got people around you who want you to do that for them. Then do that for them. I mean, it sounds draining to me, but you got to do what you got to do. But not here, not here. It's going to be an argument. I do feel like it's going to be an argument, but I also feel like it's going to be an argument that works out better in the long run. Because I'm getting like this is gonna, this is gonna make things a lot better. The wheel of fortune turns kind of like this is something very very good. This needs to be said. Something needs to be said. Um, I also get like I don't think this person is gonna be leaving your life. But I feel like you might have a period where you're kind of ignoring them for a little while. Because I'm getting the um, Knight of Pentacles and the Chariot here. The two of these together, and this card came out with it, the hostility is like right on it like that. Which kind of is like, I'm not going to say anything. I already said what I needed to say, that information hasn't changed. I don't want to argue with them again because I don't know what I'm going to say next time because once, all right, we needed to have that. I didn't like it the first time. If I have to say something a second time, I, I might really get angry and it might get really, I might say some things that they really, really don't like and may not be able to forget. So I feel like I'm just kind of avoiding them for a little while and I'm kind of like giving them the cold shoulder like I hope they catch the hint because if I come around and we have this argument a second time, they're going to see how much fire I really got going and they're not going to like it because this is not this is not a sparkler this is an M80 and you're not going to like it I'm going to blow off your hand just don't do it <laughs> don't do it um, I feel like you're going to argue them argue, argue with them once and you're going to avoid them for a little while you're going to be like I'm going to give them a chance to catch up I'm going to give them a chance to figure it out I do think they will I do think this is pertinent to where you distance yourself for a little while because it seems like there's a lot of earth energy here, which I like earth energy for me, but I'm Pisces. But what I'm trying to explain with that is like, it's, earth takes a while to change. Once earth goes in a different direction, they start gradually changing. It takes them a little while to get up to speed. But once you get them over there, they stay there. Once they know the new rules and they accept those new rules, they stick with the new rules. It will happen. They will walk away. They will leave you alone. They will do this the way. They'll, I, I feel like they learned their lesson. But, like, distance yourself, like, you know, not permanently for, for a little while. Give them some time time to, like, soak it in. Realize, like, this is how this is going. This is not, like, I feel like I say this a lot today. This is not a negotiation. I'm informing you of the rules. And those are the rules. Do not, you do not make decisions for my life. You can give me information and then leave me alone. I'll do what I want with it. I don't have to, and I'm not going to inform you if I don't want to. If I want to tell you what decision I'm making from that, then I will if I want to, but you are not entitled to that either. Keep that in mind. They will. They'll, they'll walk away from it. They'll, it. It's just, I feel like it's going to take a minute to soak in. Success is here for you. Um... Hmm. They, they, um, there's more than you they need to kind of think about this with. They might do this to a couple of other people too. And you, if you find it pertinent or if you want, if you want to, and you, because I feel like you know about it already, you might want to kind of point it out like maybe there's a couple other people this person needs to let live their own lives and stop trying to push them down the wrong path the wrong path for them that's not for them to decide what path is right for these people because maybe they think some of these people want them to make decisions for them and that's not working so maybe you might want to kind of like clue them in like you know what you do this to me and I'm not the only one who doesn't like it so before you really have a bigger problem how about you just learn how to not you know you might have a couple people that want you to do that and try to figure out who those people really are but I feel like what this is saying with indecision and the Ten of Swords, because it's on their side, you're not the only person. You're not the only person. And I feel like it may be, they, I, 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 the Ten of Swords is not a fun card. They're not going to like it. But maybe that'll slow them up a little bit and get them to kind of reevaluate how they're doing things. 
because they're going to have to change the way they're dealing with you because you're not going to deal with that. They're not, you're not going to put up with it. But they may want to, like, I, I feel like this is a gift for them to realize before they have arguments or problems with other people, maybe they want to evaluate some of these other situations and realize they're heading, they're headed towards the same problem with other people. So maybe you're doing them a favor, like giving them a heads up, like, hey, I don't like it. And there's a couple other people who don't either. Think about what you're doing. Think about how you're trying to manipulate people. It's not okay. You're going to be fine. I'm getting, again, success goes in a couple different ways. You're going to get where you want to go. Okay, cool. But you're also going to keep, this person seems like they're staying in your life, but they're also respecting the rules as the rules should have been anyway. So they technically might be new rules for them, but I'm getting, it's kind of like, this is how the rules should be anyway. It's a better version of the rules. So success is there. I actually think you're helping this person out. By having this conversation or conflict with you, you're giving them a chance at their own success about doing things better in their own life. So you're actually helping them. They're not going to enjoy it. But in the long run, they will. So, for what that's worth. <laughs> All right. Anything else here? All right. I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's James the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you'd like the donation information, that's below as well. Thank you for watching and have a great day.